Secure the hard point. Enemy C4! Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty, and this is the time when I usually say life has gotten better, but instead, life has gotten more confusing. Now, the jack kits have gotten increasingly less effective, I have to say that, over season four, and I thought maybe week six they're going to up the game. Well, they did. They upped the game with confusion. Here are the challenges. You only need to complete five of them. I use two weapons, the KVD Enforcer for the Marksman challenges and the Holger with the Jack Backsaw kit for the rest of them. The reward at the end of this is the Jack Folk, which means people, the Jack People kit for the KVD Enforcer and the KV Inhibitor. So one Marksman rifle, one sniper. They kind of gave us a hint, didn't they, in the challenges. Let's take a look and see exactly what these do for us. First, we'll look at the KVD Enforcer and take a look at the numbers. Here's what the Jack Folk, the Jack People, does for the KVD Enforcer. You can see that recoil control appears to be improved a lot, as is flinch resistance, at the cost of mobility and handling, but those are minor numbers. When you take a look towards the left, though, the range is impacted somewhat, but the fire rate, that's the key, 46% less. The Jack People attachment fires two bullets every time you pull the trigger. So I thought, well, that's not really an accurate fire rate there because you can double that, 250 per minute maybe, because when you pull the trigger, you get two bullets coming out. So I decided to give that a test, and here's what I saw on the range. So no kidding, you actually have almost half the fire rate on the KVD Enforcer. And that means if you're not super accurate, and in fact, lower torso, upper legs, that's not going to be a one-shot kill or a one-trigger pull kill, even if you hit both in the enemy. What's going to happen? You're going to be standing there with your kimono wide open and nothing more than a mean face to offer the enemy. Then I decided to take a look and see what it did to the KV inhibitor. Once again, some mobility and handling impacts, all very minor. Great recoil improvement, flinch resistance improvement, a little bit less on the bullet velocity, but this time 13% less on the fire rate. Let's take a look at how the KV inhibitor did on the firing range compared to the factory settings. So you can see the impact is a lot less in terms of how fast you can get the rounds out and down range because the fighter pilots saying as long as there's lead in the hair, as long as there are bullets flying, there's hope. Take another look at the range test and see if you notice something else. With the factory settings, the inhibitor sh ends up shooting at the sky if you don't control recoil. Absolutely, goes up, each shot doesn't return. But with the jack people attachment, the recoil actually recenters itself, and that's something significant. So old grandpa got to wondering, did they nerf one weapon, the KVD enforcer with the jack of hook, and did they buff the KV inhibitor? Now, the KV inhibitor is going to be a one pull the trigger kill anywhere in the body. So that's kind of an advantage. Are there any other advantages? I didn't know. I needed to take it onto the field of honor. So let's do that. Let's take both the Jack People KVD Enforcer and the Jack People KV Inhibitor onto the field of honor and see what it did to Grandpa and for Grandpa and what it did for the enemy. Let's go. All right, let's give the Enforcer with a Jack Folk a fair, a fair shot here. Look at that was an accidental shot there. Another accidental shot. I pulled the trigger twice at the guy because I always pull the trigger twice with the enforcer. And the second time you pull it, it's going to fire off two rounds. 
so you're gonna go through your ammo fairly quickly. That, a headshot is a headshot. There's another inadvertent firing. I'm sneakily looking over the head glitch there. All right, new map. And there we got uh, somebody with a, with a hat. Reminds me of Singapore, the old pictures of it. Oh, what was that? So far, so good, although I'm just not liking how long it takes to get that second trigger pull out. I have a feeling that's going to give me some issues. And the thing about it is, is you don't even get a one shot or one pull kill unless you hit it up high. It never works if you shoot one of your teammates. That's a pie, that's a pie, so that's so far so good. But I'm not ready to re-engage anyone quickly. Ooh, there was somebody there. Come on, don't shoot me. Okay. <laughs> he went ahead and didn't shoot me while I was waiting for the re-chamber there. There's somebody back there. Yep. Got one and somebody's shooting or throwing. Pyrotechnic. There, uh, there I am again. My kimono wide open. Stupid grin on my face as I'm waiting for the rechamber. If that would have been a native KVD, he'd be pushing up daisies. But same there. Same there. You just have to wait. Not good. Definitely not good. I felt like I was fighting with one hand tied behind my back because if uh, if you're going to hit somebody right there, luckily the guy didn't get me as I was waiting for the rechamber. I mean, I'm, it's got to be close to like a 600 millisecond time to kill unless you get it in the head. Look at there. I had to I had to try to avoid the fight and somebody else got me. I got two rounds into that guy. At a fire rate, native fire rate, rate of roughly twice the speed, I would have gotten that guy. There we go again. Luckily, the, the guy from Singapore waited for me to pull the trigger again. Actually, he didn't wait for me to pull the trigger. He okay. waited for pulling the trigger to have some sort of effect. Actually, at this point, I've switched to the inhibitor. I'm done with the enforcer. That's never going to look like that again in live fight. Okay. You know, it seems like the rechamber is actually quicker with the inhibitor with the sniper rifle. And the sniper, sniper rifle is a one-shot kill upper torso and above and it's going to be a one trigger pull kill down to the upper legs I pulled that bullet onto the second bullet I pulled onto the target which is kind of a weird way of looking at it but that's exactly why oh, there's somebody up there again messing with the air conditioning Elvis. Elvis, the Amazonian warrior woman. Yeah, we're going to have to improve a little bit on our performance for the team. Our own person's up there now. So I, I didn't notice the delay as much, and sure, I wouldn't because the stats say, thank you, because the stats say that it's only about 10% slower. Oh, there, there she is. Yeah, I'm going to get out of there and reload. There, the second bullet I pulled on to the guy. Neither bullet did I pull on to that person, and now uh, we're going to get out of the way till we heal a little. So I'm kind of liking this on the inhibitor. Where'd he come from? Oh, warrior woman. No longer Elvis. All right, one more map. One more map with the inhibitor. The 
and I've put 20 rounds in it. So it's killed my ADS speed, so I've got to act more like a sniper in the back. I can't rush like I normally do with a sniper rifle. But I'm really liking this. Well, I'm not liking that. The obligatory knifer gacks me. White furry tribble. He's gone. Oh, there's somebody up. He's gone, too. Furry Tribble again. I got him. There's obligatory knifer. Yeah, I feel like it adds a little extra punch because the one negative thing about the KV inhibitors, it's not a one-shot kill in the lower torso. Now it's a one-shot kill all the way to the upper legs. One trigger pull kill. So the Jack Folk, there's White Furry Tribble. The Jack Folk is actually worth considering on the inhibitor. It makes the inhibitor as powerful as any sniper rifle, and it's more flexible. Now, I'll probably switch to the default mag of 10 rounds, because the 20 is just too much. It, I, it kills my mobility. Yeah. Oh, there's somebody hiding over there just trying to pick off people at the hard point while not capturing it. It's no wonder we're going to win this by about 120 points. Actually, more like 150 points. There's a collateral. Yeah, I mean, this thing is a beast with the Jack Fluke on it. Anyway, there it is. Okay, that's enough of that. You get the picture. What was my bottom line on the Jack Volk kit for the KVD Enforcer and the KV Inhibitor? I think for the KVD Enforcer, it's a nerf. It's a solid nerf. You're just going to be standing there waiting for the rounds to rechamber while the enemy is laughing at you as they pull the trigger. I mean, that thing only works probably if you have aimbot, and none of us have that. As for the inhibitor, that's a completely different story. I think that it's a good addition for the inhibitor. The inhibitor is already the strongest weapon, in my opinion, that's called Sniper. Now, there are some downsides. I had to add the 20-round mag because I kept shooting two rounds out of the five-round mag. So my aim down sight speed went to a cat AMR-like 600 milliseconds but the neat thing is is that you can shoot the first round if it's off target you can kind of pull the second round with a strafe onto the target so that worked out pretty nicely i'll probably leave the jack folk the jack people on my inhibitor build at least for a while so that's that I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know if they were thinking. I don't know if the people that designed these even play the game. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. And I will be live streaming on Thursdays and Sundays at 6.30 p.m. Central Time. If, if that changes, I'll put out a short video to let everybody know. Please have a great rest of the week and a good 4th of July. Cheers to you and peace.